We are not able at this time to receive the Lord's Supper as a church. Um, and with it, the uh, tremendous assurance of God's love and forgiveness as he gives to us the very body and blood of Christ. The same body and blood once crucified for us and now risen. Now, all that remains true even when we're not receiving the sacrament, but it is tremendously encouraging to receive that sacrament as often as we can. But that's not where we are right now. We are, however, able to confess our sins and hear the word of absolution. Um, Christ gave the authority to his church to assure people on his authority that their sins are forgiven. And the church uh, uh, calls, appoints a pastor to make sure that that happens. Uh, and so we'll do that now. We don't have a hymn book in front of us or but that we're going to do this as we did a few weeks ago in a um, sort of a question and answer, question and response form. So to each um, question as we go here and you're watching at home, um, your answer is yes, respond yes, uh, and, then, um, and then believe the word for yourself. Let's, let's go on. Do you confess to Almighty God that you are a poor, miserable sinner? If so, answer yes. And do you confess to our merciful Father that you have sinned against him in thought, word, and deed? Then say yes. Do you confess that you justly deserve his temporal and eternal punishment? Yes. And do you believe that our Lord Jesus Christ died for you and shed his blood for you on the cross, for the forgiveness of all of your sins? Yes. And do you pray God for the sake of the holy, innocent, bitter sufferings and death of his beloved son to be gracious and merciful to you? Then say yes. Finally, do you believe that the word of forgiveness that I want to say it's not my word, but it's God's word spoken by me to you. If so, then say yes. And let it be done for you as you believe. In the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you of all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.